Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be watching episode six of The Boys. I'm super excited to keep this rolling. Last episode is pretty jam packed. You know, we had Huey blackmailing Ezekiel. We had some more continuation with Huey and Starlight's relationship. And they really seem like two kind of broken people who really need each other. We also have the babies being pumped with Compound V from a very early age. So are, are all superheroes made by Compound V as children or are people naturally born? I'm not really quite sure, or it's both. Still need to learn more about that. We got some backstory with Billy Butcher and Rebecca kind of disappearing eight years ago. She's still alive. Billy really seems to think think so. And then for me, you know, the big ending was crazy to see, I still don't really know her name, but uh, that the girl kind of defend Frenchie against Black Noir. She kind of gets taken out and you think she's dead. And no, she actually has healing abilities. She Her body can regenerate from wounds and she essentially kind of comes back to life. And she grabs Frenchie's hand is kind of like, hey, like, I'm willing to join you guys now. So super excited because I wanted her to be a part of the crew since I first kind of saw her and saw her just kind of shred through some people because they, they kind of need some more muscle in the group. Uh, none of them have, you know, none of them can go toe to toe with the superheroes really. They, they need to be very strategic about it, but she maybe has the potential to get strong enough to go toe to toe with some of the other superheroes. That's everything that happened last episode. I'm really excited. I think I think there's only eight episodes a season, so we're getting close to the end of the first season. I just wanna thank everyone for all of the support. It really means a lot to me. If you want to kind of interact with me on different platforms, all of the links to the socials are in the description below. You know, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Patreon, if you wanna check out Patreon, full length reactions to everything I do will be on Patreon, as well as Patreon exclusives, and most importantly, polls. Um, so you can get access to kind of vote and decide what movie I watch next and what TV series I watch next. So feel free to check that out if you want. So with that, let's get into the episode. Oh yeah. Oh, look at you, Homelander, so funny. Queen Maeve. Hey Train, you can trust me. The Deep, what am I good for? Almost nothing. Black Noir, okay. Oh, they're still pretending Translucent is alive. Starlight relating to people. <laughs> a lot of it's temp. The heavenly body lost her luster two weeks after Starlight. <laughs> you should f that f in the asshole. Yeah. Hi, uh, Anthony. Huey's best looking friend since fourth grade. <laughs> when your friend shows up and is suddenly a comedian. Like Forrest Gump runs. Five blocks down. You're oh, supposed to hype your friend up. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since Robin, for all I knew, you were chugging Drano. Ne needed a fresh start. Your fresh start is way out of your league. You know that, right? <laughs> I, I still find it so funny that people don't realize that that's Starlight. I really wish you'd lived long enough to see me fly with the Blue Angels. Hey. Love you, Mom, Dad. What happened to them? Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, I'm sorry. Why is that there? Uh, sorry? Who put the fucking blanket on the bed? Randy, why? You fucking asshole. Uh, Amateur fuck. Compound V to 53 hospitals across the country since 1971. So no hero was born. None of them. Okay, there we go. Those kids don't answer. Blue shit. Homeland is a black hole. Never had any public records and never will. I'm trying <laughs> to give a tremendous fucking TED talk here. And this Frenchie, can you control her, please? Oh my Hello? god. And she was injected in the basement of the hospital. Maybe that means something, huh? Yeah, maybe they're just fucking chicken scratches. Let's find out. The phone's been tits up for a week. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. Mm. No. What could go wrong, I thought? You were playing to your base. At least I don't have to kiss your ass anymore. Oh, she got fired? It was actually a mutual decision. Though. Sure, okay. Yeah. You are a selfish, arrogant child. Wow. <laughs> Back in Iowa, hundreds of hours to create the thing that is you. I never asked for that. Then why don't you burn the sparkly outfit and become a cop? Show a little fucking gratitude and let us do our job. She is not pulling any punches right now. No. And I think that firing an employee after she reported sexual assault. Dang, there you go. I think you've known for a long time. I have a lot to think about. There you go, Annie. What's up? 
<laughs> um, well, we lost my dad at a young age. It was uh, my older brother, Nathan, who, who pretty much raised me up. Maybe make it a click more upbeat. Uh, okay. Go. Nope. Go. No. What is going on with you, man? Oh, I just killed my girlfriend last episode. I think it was probably a drug overdose. Say a little something in her honor. They're all dealing with something. But very few of them are worthy to root for. And every time I'm on a red carpet now, they're asking me how I'm supporting Starlight. You really stood for something. But now, pretty sure that was just written by the marketing guys. Dang. I love this new confident Annie. Or she communicated anyway. <laughs> I'll call BuzzFeed. Everyone loves Shark Week. Can't too fuck no on your ass. <laughs> Best I can do. You know, it's a good deal. You ain't have to twit a fuck with her, Huey. Cunts or twats, but I just I never really got how that's an insult. Take a pounding, and they're the reason behind like ninety eight percent of my life decisions. <laughs> you know, the other day. I collateral I damage for vi I was gonna say, are these people who are affected by collateral damage? After all, Tech Knight saved me. I wish he'd been a, a little more gentle with my spine. <laughs> Whoa! He's part of the marketing team. Shall remain nameless, but has ice powers. Ice princess. <laughs> um, um, he uh, took a liking to me. <laughs> she climaxed and accidentally turned into ice. Oh no. Still in there at negative 346 degrees. Oh my and god. It snapped off. Oh. The crazy thing is, imagine what one would do if she found out you've been lying to her from the get go. Continue the ice capades. We don't make <laughs> ice capades. Or judgments here. You back off, or I'll shove this stick where your dick used to be. Oh my god. Your self respect! Billy's breaking down. Fuck letting go. You should be out there with a fucking chainsaw going after him. Because if you're a little guy. Oh. Never uh, too young to start saving the world, right? <laughs> we are going to be stationing you in Sandusky, Ohio for a while. Okay, okay, look. Ohio? I know, damn ocean landing. Wouldn't let this me... is not about the dead dolphin. This is about Starlight. What about Starlight? Everybody <laughs> seems to want to know who she was referencing. Here to help. I'm in full support of women. Caused Starlight a great deal of pain. And I sincerely sad apologize music. for this. It's really exciting. It's my hey, first uh, movie with the, uh, in the <laughs> Cinematic universe. This man is the rapist. <laughs> no fucking way. This is Mesmer? Tara Reed? Wow, Billy Zane and his paintings? Cool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see dead people. Uh -huh. Mesmer. Uh, the way you brushed your hand up against that Wall Street guy? Brother, that shit right there? Now that was ruthless. But with the SEC. Who the coming, fuck are you? <laughs> I lost custody three years ago. Nobody believes in second chances for fuck ups like me. Remember your old man? Hi, Charles. Charles, not dad. I'm gonna try and be in your life a little bit more. Would that be okay? I guess. I just wanna know you don't hate me. Don't really know you. Hmm. Is that worse? So you can know me a little better. I don't have a DVD player. I can see her every month. One hour, supervised. My wife, Becca. Used to hum the Spice Girls. That's why he loves the Spice Girls so much. Homelander, right there. Oh my God. Jesus. I have chills. I cannot wait for the time where he literally rips Homelander's head off his body. I know this because she got tagged in that security camera, right? Here. Well, that's the spot. And she just got up and walked away. That was eight years ago. And nobody's seen her since. That's horrible. Either Homelander killed her, or she killed herself. Same difference. You and me, we're in this together. We're Robin and Becca. Now we know. Now we know his motivation, and it couldn't be worse. That is going to kill somebody when it lands in Boston. <laughs> How much all that fake fucking bullshit meant to you? I'm really sorry about the blanket, and Randy set deck has already been terminated. <laughs> Fuck you, Randy. <laughs> to show how down to earth and ready to serve you are. They have such a strange relationship. Story for me. Okay. Perfect. So great. Just such a perfect face. Uh, yes. For charismatic and evil, I can't get over it. 
she can't talk or won't talk. That's what you're gonna tell us. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> okay. It's pretty easy. Just do everything. Gentle. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Go walk it off. Walk it off. She broke my fucking wrist. Look at me. I can patch you up or I can break your other wrist. You decide. <laughs> That's a pretty easy choice. Where are you? Shake Shack. Shake Shack. <laughs> Tastes like lies. I got your phone linked to my find your shithead friends. <laughs> Epic. This, this, this is a superhero. <laughs> the reality is a video production. You know, behind the scenes, oh. just as much. Uh... I throw off her game. Oh, hey, Elena. I'm going to need five minutes, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the boom mic. Tell me what's going on. I'm afraid to ask for help. Are you filming, Courtney? I told you to turn the fucking cameras off. Get out of there, boom guy. Everything is okay. Big fan. Be with you in a minute. Now we gotta kill him. No, we don't have to. <laughs> now we have to kill him. Sometimes you get further with people by treating them like people. There's a camp in a, in a jungle. Soldier. Frenchie? You're dating a terrorist. What is the significance of this blanket? Clearly everything else is fake, but not this. Okay. You ask and you receive. Just trained from a baby to be the number one superhero. Wait, why would Vought give Compound B to terrorists? He's a soup terrorist, and the only way to fight it is with Sergeant fucking Homelander. They're creating villains. Those fuckers are creating super villains. And that's not who she is. I know you understand me. Please. Please. Tell them who you are. He's like, uh oh, two hands. <laughs> I'm losing this arm. The drawings are uh, palm trees in front of the moon. They kidnapped her and her brother. Forced them to be soldiers. Just wants to go back and get her brother out of there. Her name's Kamiko. Miko. Kamiko. Marjo Kamiko. Falco Wanka. <laughs> It wasn't on porpoise. <laughs> A list of your demands. How in character. Form will guarantee that Homelander will be prosecuted under the full extent of the law. You and I go forward on good faith. <laughs> Everything we want on this list, except Homelander. That ain't gonna cut it. He's the main one that needs to go down. You know what he's done? Fucking scared. I'm fucking terrified. And you should be too. Butcher! Butcher! Was the government just gonna come arrest Homelander? Wipe out half the country, probably. The world had other plans. Starlight. <laughs> Citizen Starlight. Citizen Coming Starlight. From we can use your help stopping them. Kim Co. She just wants to watch TV. You watched that episode of Downton Abbey, then. I'm gonna be one behind and we're not gonna be able to together. It's modern problems. Did you watch that without me? Too much of a risk. Mm. Mm. Did she? No, she didn't. We'll take the envoy ourselves. You probably don't remember, but uh, we've met before. You said you were looking for a uh, French guy and a black guy, a skinny white guy, British guy. I just want to be one of the good guys again. There's this beach in the Bahamas where the sand is pink. Let's just go. Yeah, no, I can uh, learn how to play the steel drum. For me, New York has been such an endless Huey. Show. Ooh, Huey. Hey, maybe that was it. That's all he needed. I thought that was you. A lot of friends showing up here. <laughs> I yeah. forgot that the other guy came. Seems like it. Let me guess. Guinness. I like what you like. Hey, Guinness. Because <laughs> from where I'm sitting, it looks like you got your tongue halfway down the opposition's throat. She's a good person. Okay? I mean, she could help us. And what do you think she's gonna do when she finds out you murdered Translucent? All right. That was episode six. It was, it was pretty good. I'm glad we got uh, the backstory of Kimco. We got the huge news from Billy about what Homelander did to Rebecca. 
like just terrible like now you fully understand Billy's just complete rage towards all superheroes it's totally justified but I also wish it wasn't so justified because like he didn't want Kim Ko in the group he has wants nothing to do with Starlight he's like even if clearly Starlight's good for Huey and Huey's good for Starlight he just wants that completely completely severed because she's a superhero like he just hates everyone that has superpowers and he's not really wrong because so far almost all of them are just pure garbage like even Mesmer turned out to be a piece of shit like so I don't know it's rough like Billy's totally justified in his hatred but I just wish he would accept Starlight. I mean, he's kind of already accepted Kimko, but not 100%. Like, I'm sure he's still gonna be hesitant with her for a while. I mean, she's not really part of Vought or anything or really an established hero or something. So maybe that's why he's more accepting of her. But for Starlight, he's just entirely against her, even though he's heard a lot of the conversations that she's had with Huey and stuff. But he doesn't trust Huey. He has this blind rage. Again, I don't blame him for what Homelander did. I mean, that literally gave me chills. So that was the biggest reveal of this episode. And now Homelander has the faces of them all. And Vought has all of the money and resources to know exactly who all, all of these people are. Billy is putting his personal agenda above the group, even though again, it's justified. Homelander is the top, Homelander is like the head of the snake and you want to get rid of the head of the snake and he's the worst part of everything, but he can't go after Homelander because he's just way too powerful. So instead of working with the government to getting more resources and help to take out everyone else, potentially take out all of the other superheroes, stop them from creating more superheroes, he, he can't go after Homelander because of the collateral damage. You know, in that essence, he kind of put his own interests above everyone else because he, he wants Homelander above all. It's gonna be an interesting dynamic I'm sure the group's gonna learn what Billy's doing in terms of not accepting help because they wanna go after Homelander. I'm sure they'll still support him because they know the truth and what happened and how much Homelander deserves it. So I don't think it's gonna be a real tearing apart of the group or anything like that. It's really interesting to see that Vaught is essentially creating superheroes. It's like they're running out of, not that they're running out of reasons, but they see it as a prime way to get superheroes more publicity and more exposure and more money, more funding, more everything if they have super villains to fight. There's gotta be other super villains out there. So it would be really cool because right now we have humans versus superheroes, but like we could have a, a like almost a three-way of humans versus superheroes versus super villains. So we'll see if that plays out. But overall, I thought it was a great episode. I'm super excited that Kim Ko is part of the group now and that she's willing to stay and help Hopefully nothing bad happens to her brother. Hopefully her brother doesn't become like a super villain or something. That would be terrible. I'm really excited to keep it rolling. I want to thank everyone for coming, hanging out and watching along with me. Thank you again for all the support. If you want to interact with me in other ways, you can check the links in the descriptions for all my socials and most importantly, my Patreon, where you can see full length reactions to everything I post and exclusives and the polls that kind of determine what I watch TV wise and movie wise going forward. So thank you for all the support. And uh, until next time, peace everyone, bye.